people see me when I was off the show for years. We are asking everybody to finish the sentence. It is so hot out here. Oh, that's yes. That I feel like a roast chicken. <laughs> this is like an oven. <laughs> I'm almost done. It's a lot of fun. It's amazing. Everyone looks so beautiful, and it was. It's very funny because we were actually just on our crocodile research trip, which was a lot of fun up at the Steve Irwin Wildlife Reserve, and we were wearing car keys and getting dirty in the mud. And I'm here wearing a pretty dress with my hair done, so it's really different. In terms of, in terms of talk, I do know that my generation and my audience because of the internet and so many other different, I wouldn't call them distractions, but options, you know, they, their attention span is a lot shorter. So I've decided to move my show faster to make it pop and move and dot, pop, pop, pop. We hit that segment for a couple of, you know, minutes and then we're over and moving on to something else, you know, because the combination of the invention of the remote control and the internet, you, you can't just sit and sit on a topic forever. You gotta move. And I've totally redone my show from skin and guts, like how it looks, sounds, feels, all the way to content because of the changing generation. Why do you think that Sesame Street has endured for all this time? Well, because we have fun and it's a happy place and we learn our ABCs and we learn how to count. Do you know how to count to 117? No, you want to try? One, we could be here all day. Two, three, I don't hear you. I think the, the shows that have unfortunately been uh, let go by the people who are behind those shows, I think those are individual cases. I don't think, I think it's like nighttime TV, just because one show gets canceled doesn't mean nighttime TV is out the window. You know, I think, it, I think it's something about the people behind those shows who maybe didn't want to be in that business anymore. But ABC is showing a huge vote of confidence by moving all my children to L.A. They wanted to expand, not contract. So I think our situation is a very, very positive one. What have they talked to you about? Nothing. And, you know, I, I just, I'm moving forward with my life and my career as if it's over. If something happens, that's fantastic, and I'll, and I'll deal with that when it comes along. But, uh, you know, it's been a lot of years, and um, maybe sometimes things just have to move on. I don't know. We'll see.